Hey boys and girls, our book for today is called Anglerfish, The Sea Devil of the Deep by Elaine M. Alexander. And we borrowed this book from the Central Skagit Library. That is scary. <laughs> far, far below the ocean's surface, where no trace of sunlight can reach, Anglerfish makes her home. She glides slowly through the dark water, always on the hunt. Her jaw protrudes, bearing razor-sharp teeth. She is a fearsome creature. She is the sea devil of the deep. Anglerfish do not always reside in shadow. Her life began as a tiny egg on the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. As a baby fish or fry, she floated gently in the light and feasted on plankton. Near the surface, danger lurked everywhere. Fishing nets and hungry predators prowled the waters. One, two, three years passed. Anglerfish grew. Her torso rounded her fins her torso rounded and her fins lengthened. When her fishing rod sprouted from her forehead, oh, it's called a fishing rod, ang <laughs> anglerfish began her descent into deeper water. Halfway there, where streaks of sunlight still teased their way through the green gray, o gray green ocean, anglerfish wobbled in the water. Her cousin, monkfish, swept by. Monkfish's broad brown green body glistened and his mouth gaped in the murky sea. Fishing boats were trawling. Engines churn as they drag a net, scooping whatever it is in its path. Anglerfish dodges, diving even deeper until sunlight is only a memory. Her dark skin is an effective camouflage, allowing her, allowing her to blend into her surroundings. Dark as midnight, anglerfish makes her own light. A tiny bioluminescent lure glows at the, t at the tip of a thin pointed fin that grows between her eyes. She glides alone, fierce, hungry, patient. With a waggle of her tail, she's buried in mud and sand, dangling the glowing orb like her very own fishing pole. Anglerfish waits for a fish, a shrimp, or maybe even a crab to take the bait. Shadows shift. She wiggles her lure, hoping prey will mistake her light for a tasty morsel. A crab shuffles closer. Anglerfish's stomach distends. Her flexible jaws extend. She swallows her meal whole. It's only a morsel, but food is scarce in the midnight zone, and anglerfish can't afford to be picky. A cloud of sand settles. Anglerfish isn't alone anymore. A tiny male anglerfish circles, homing in on her back. Closer, closer still. Then a pinch as he latches on her tough skin. With a flick of her tail, anglerfish swims on, carrying the tiny male's body through the dark. A stowaway on her solitary journey, he is being absorbed into her body. Anglerfish will carry him with her always. Theirs is a union necessary for survival. Interesting. Anglerfish is ready now. Her most important work begins. She releases fertilized eggs, too many to count. They stick together. A thin protective gel binds them on their journey. The massive spawn rises up through the ocean, higher and higher, until it is out of sight. Far, far below the ocean's surface, where no trace of sunlight can reach, in the darkest, most sparsely inhabited place in the sea, anglerfish is alone again. Wow. That was really interesting, actually. There's a bunch of facts after that. Oh. Huh. Cool. All right, boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed that book. Have a great day.